it's hard not to smirk when you first set eyes on the Khan Vengeance with its Hannibal Lecter front grille comically blistered wheelarches and vast 21 inch wheels and tires it really is quite unique but that smirk can easily turn into a full blown attack of the giggles when you discover how much it costs take a deep breath this car costs an eye watering 400,000 pounds oh yes and just to round things off on the are they serious front its full name is the Khan Vengeance Green Superhero its moniker comes from the car's brief appearance in the Tom Cruise film The Edge of Tomorrow in terms of credibility that's probably magnificent to some people and of no consequence whatsoever to many others and yet most of the cynicism you might have for the vengeance disappears into the ether the moment you press the starter button and its Aston Martin inspired 6.0 liter V12 engines erupts into life the noise this car makes courtesy of its bespoke stainless steel exhaust system is absolutely out of this world that's just on startup either at full chat in third gear the vengeance sounds like no other road car on this earth it is cataclysmically loud and the quality of the sound it makes is quite beautiful a proper soul staring heart-wrenching blend of pure volume but also a clean trumpet-like blare in the mid-range that gives way to a fully orchestral scream over the final 1500 revolutions per minute the noise this car makes is enough to make the hairs on your neck go stiff with childlike excitement which is just as well because to be perfectly blunt and honest the rest of the car isn't exactly up to much the reason why is fairly simple the vengeance is based unashamedly on the Aston Martin DB9 or in this particular example's case the Virage which was little more than a tweaked DB9 anyway mechanically therefore apart from its exhaust and bigger wheels and tires it is entirely unmodified from a DB. 9 that means in engineering terms it is somewhat antiquated to say the least on the move the vengeance feels like a car from yesteryear despite boasting a claimed 600 bhp thank the exhaust system for the power increase says Khan it doesn't appear especially quick it may sound like it's doing 200 miles per hour just about everywhere but it never feels that urgent dot its steering is heavy and lacks precision its ride is poor and its handling is cumbersome beside anything on offer from most contemporary sports and supercars at less than half the price so in most senses it makes no sense whatsoever inside it feels very similar to a DB9 but with some re-trimmed seats and a few extra splashes of restyled leather above the instrument to help justify the exorbitant price it works sort of but the cabin doesn't feel anywhere bespoke enough for the money the exterior which despite some wonky panels gaps manages to heave on your heartstrings far more successfully the venture is built for Khan design by the same Coventry based company that crafted the Aston Martin 177 and in the flesh it does look pretty stunning not quite 400,000 pounds worth of stunning perhaps but sufficiently different to stand out model Khan Vengeance Green Superhero price 350,000 pounds engine 6.0 liter v12 petrol power slash torque 600 bhp slash 490 nm transmission six speed automatic rear wheel drive 0 to 62 miles per hour 4.5 seconds top speed 186 miles per hour limited 